going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here in the winning dressing room of Ebony Bridges by Brian Cohen and Callie Reese. First of all, I'm assuming that you're glad to get an emphatic victory over Shannon O'Connell tonight. Absolutely. I mean, it was, you know, she did exactly what she needed to do and she made a statement. Brian? Listen, man, Ebony is tough just like Everlast. So when, when you think of champions, when you think of the choice of champions, you think of Ebony Bridges, you think of Everlast. That's all I'm going to have to say right now in the beginning to start it off. <laughs> Excellent. So going into the fight, a lot of people expected Shannon O'Connell to be a tough, which she certainly proved it, it yeah. tonight. She was. But was you shocked by how durable she was? Because she took a lot of punishment in there tonight. Shannon O'Connell is tougher than a $2 stake. Let's, let's get that out of the way. Um, but we, we also knew that, um, you know, as time went on, she was going to start fighting like an unattended fire hose, which she did. And uh, Ebony took advantage of it. Uh, she took over with her power, her straight punches, her body shots, and just wore the old battle axe down. Kelly, a lot of people questioned the experience of Shannon compared to Ebony. Do you think a lot of people were, were writing Ebony off tonight? A lot of people always write, write Ebony off, and Shannon has a lot of experience, but it's, it's really this empty experience. She has a lot of experience with nobody, so it doesn't matter how much experience she has. I mean, Ebony's in there with, with champions, and she's started her, her career's night and day compared to Shannon's, and she did exactly what she had to do. Now, Shannon's not durable because I've seen her heart leave the fight in, in the third round. She didn't want to be there, so that's not a heart of a champion. She can have all the experience in the world, but she's durable and tough, but, you know, Ebony took her heart away. You've been in there with some great champions. How does Ebony compare for such an inexperienced boxer? Her professional career is re relatively low, but she's making a statement every fight it seems to be she's having at the minute. I mean, she's, again, she's a, a, a she's a study of the sport. She loves the sport. She loves the craft. She studies. She grinds hard. And she's, again, the only mm -hmm. one that can hang with another champion, myself, in training. She's oh, She doesn't have a ceiling. She always wants to learn. She always wants to improve. And that's the exact pedigree of a champion. Brian, you look how far Ebony's come in the, in the past year under Mark Tibbs. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah, listen, they have great chemistry. Uh, I think we all work together as a team. Mark is a very humble trainer. He lets me come in and do my thing. Um, we all listen together. We all uh, uh, work together in the corner. It was an honor tonight to work with Mr. Jimmy Tibbs, a legend in his own, in his own right and uh, in British boxing. So, um, no, we have a really good corner, man. And um, Shout out to, to, to Tibbs, Tibbs Boxing, uh, but also Ebony. You have to give Ebony so much credit because people just look at her. They see the, the you know, they see the, the fake breasts. They see the lingerie. That girl is one of the hardest workers I've ever seen in boxing. Male, female, uh, rodent, uh, cockfight, pit bull, whatever, whatever you want to say. That girl works e extremely hard. Kelly, do you think kind of what, Brian said there about they see what they see with Ebony. Do you think a lot of people write her off because of that and they haven't actually judged her on her performances in the ring? Absolutely. People just see, again, they see the way and she loves the banter. She always has a smile on her face, but as soon as that bell rings, she means business. See, I also got to understand that this is an entertainment business. So the ones who write her off because of her entertainment factor are actually missing the mark with that. She has the whole package. Unifications next year, I know she's got a hand injury, it will take some months to heal, but by the end of 2023, surely you could be looking at a unified champion. It all depends. If it makes dollars, it don't make sense. Uh, right now, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll let our hand rest up. Um, but essentially, Ebony just fought Roman, who was the longest reigning champion in the division. She just got rooked into fighting the mandatory, which was shit. So, I, you know... I'm not saying we're looking for an easy fight, but we're not jumping straight into a mandatory. And, every, and, and to be honest with you, we're, everybody's on her time. She's the cash cow of the division. Yeah. So they can sit around, fight each other, wait for her. Shannon Courtney won tonight after she got rid of some ring rust and that's always going to be a money fight. You, you said you want to follow the money now. She deserves it. Shannon Courtney for next year, do you think that's the right move? 
Uh, Shannon Courtney needs Ebony Bridges. Ebony Bridges doesn't need Shannon Courtney. We'll see how the chips fall, um, you know, a after, after her uh, hand is healed. Yeah. And we'll just go from there. You know, we're in no rush to do anything right now. Callie, just a word on yourself. Uh, you're taking a break from the sport. Will we see you back soon? Absolutely. I mean, it's not a, um, a choice. It's actually a necessity for my hi hiatus. So we're still trying to figure out my health. I got um, a really good new team of doctors on it. And it's not something that's simple to put together. It's very intricate. So I'm very, um, you know, I have a lot of faith that in 2023 we'll, you'll see me back in the ring, but it's not a guarantee. So right now I made the decision to um, allow uh, Chantel to fight for the belts because um, yeah. I didn't want to sit on them. You know what I mean? I rightfully could have due to health issues, but we're just taking it one day at a time. What did you make of Chantel's performance when she unified the whole division against oh. McCaskill? Oh, she murdered McCaskill. I mean, it was she made she made a statement. She got better. She did exactly what she had to do. She put, she mauled Jessica oh, McCaskill. God. So it was it was a great great win for. Her. I'm so happy for her. She's another one that grinds hard. She loves the sport. She deserves it. So big shout out to Chantel. And, and let me just say shout out to Chantel Cameron because immediately after the fight, she wanted to give Kaylee a a, a, a fight. So. Yeah. Shout out to her. Shout out to exposing Rick Ramos for the shittiest trainer in the sport. Uh, shout out for Chantel to exposing Jessica, Jessica McCaskill as the worst champion in boxing history. So, Chantel, shout out to you, babe. You really did a great job. Excellent, guys. Thank you very much for speaking to me today. Congratulations on the ring, uh, on the win. I hope to see you back in the ring in 2023, and that will be an absolute super fight. It should have happened last know, year, but Chantel, it's always going to be there, isn't it, Kelly? Absolutely. And like I said, it's gonna. Everything will happen exactly when it's supposed to, and we're gonna we're gonna dance in there eventually. So it might take a little bit more time, but I can't wait to get in there. Excellent, guys. Thank you very much, and hopefully speak to you again you. soon. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.